Another day, another look at some shitty Steam pages. Let's take a look. American Arcadia single player point and click third person 2D. Now that's 2.5D. So far doesn't look very extraordinary, just very ordinary. And I find it really uncomfortable that these people don't have noses. Digital Eclipse Arcade, retro action arcade casual. Actually looks like something I wouldn't play in an arcade in the 90s. Checkmate Showdown it looks like chess, but I just played it a bit to make sure. It's not all chess. As you can see, when two units come together, it's a fighting game! Now, it's not Archon Ultra where it's a top-down shooter brawler. This is a fighting game, and that's actually very interesting. I like that idea. It's like chess boxing, but different. Not a lot of reviews, but 80%, so I wonder how they balance the units. That's gonna be interesting. Car parking real driving sim? Yeah, real with nitro and driving on the wrong side. Looks like single developer. And I don't see any parking anywhere. Wizardry high school exam. Early access roguelike magic. Kind of a bullet hell, kind of survivors inspired. And I kind of like it, except the powers seem to be very weak. And I don't like that. Hellion action third person shooter PvP. Hero shooter. With shitty graphics. Someone trying to imitate Battlebit? Well, I don't know because there are no reviews, so... Night Pact Azuru Puzzle Action Action Adventure Casual Noir Nightmare Side The Game Horror Narrative Supernatural Survival Low Production Values Dungeon Heroes Action Roguelite Local Co-op Dungeon Crawler Okay, Procedurally Generated Dungeons Bad UI Slow Movement Low field of view. Yeah, and only split screen co op. Tribes and Monsters is a survivor like game where you can choose a tribe and become the leader of your own army. Meaning, what exactly? Is this Cult of the Lamb but Vampire Survivors? That actually might be cool. Apparently, an early access for five bucks. I'm not against that. It. it looks interesting, though I don't like it that it's slow. This is interesting. I'm following this. Ed Tar, 2D platformer exploration strategy action 2D. Where you build your own levels? Survivor Cells Early access roguelite, bullet hell roguelite Discover the beauty and fragility of life in survival cells, unique survival game against viruses and bacteria Takes 38 seconds to reach gameplay and doesn't look like much Outer Stellar Early access survival multiplayer sci-fi PvP Starts looking good Third person survival game? Kinda looks like basic Unreal Wolfsburg. Experimental Casual Precision Platformer Retro What do we actually do here? It's really, really weird. Core points? What points? This game is already giving me video. Aquamariner is a relaxing single-player fishing game in which you explore and catch fish to help raise funds to rebuild your damaged home. Catch over 50 unique fish. Fresh fish. Kinda looks like a nicer dredge, but I'm not against it. Out now for 15 bucks. Okay, so you boat around, and you fish, and you collect scrap, and you drift. And you manage a town? No, you manage just your boat. Okay. Okay, neat. Edge of Dead is a bullet hell that lets you pick up and throw the furniture. Throw grenades and activate shields, stun enemies, shoot and dodge enemy fire, and set the floor ablaze. Oh yeah, it looks a lot like Enter the Gungeon. Except, more janky. But it kind of makes me want to play Enter the Gungeon again. Astral Tracks is a precise and competitive 3D platforming speedrunner. Not really my thing, but if you like 3D platformers, this looks like a nice one. Heroes Wanted is a roguelite deck building game that follows a unique set of rules. Okay. So you build your party on the fly and then attack it. You recruit new members of the party. 90 reviews, 78%. By NeoWiz and Gamepleet. It's an early access, so I'll follow it. The Mueller Powell Principle Forward, so it's a demo. Exploration, FPS, action, action adventure, 3D. Looks like a 3D puzzle game, which is a thing, but I don't think it's enough to grab my interest. Space Battle Royale, well, that's putting everything on the tin, but it looks very basic. The Kinderman Remedy, medical sim, time management, clicker, crime. Think you mean point and click adventure? Because it definitely doesn't look like any time management game or clicker I've ever seen. Tears of Adria. Immersive fantasy RPG where exploration meets unpredictability. Those are also some words that can fit in a sentence. 
It looks like it's trying to do so many things, but it still has low production values. 12 reviews, but 78%. Some of it looks really good and some of it looks really bad. And it's already out, so... So it makes me feel very ambivalent. Urban Intel Special Ops. Intense urban multiplayer FPS built in Unreal Engine delivering smooth animations and adrenaline-filled multiplayer action. Which means it's trying to get into a very crowded theater with not a lot of things to show for it. Asterix and Obelix slap them all. Two action beat 'em up spectacle fighter. Is that what it's called now? Simple brawler, which could be fun, especially if you're an Asterix fan. But that's not me. Wolf the Lone Hunt is another you're playing an animal game. Action adventure runner, more like walking simulator. Wolf whale simulator because it's not exactly a werewolf; it's the other way around. Hyper Light Survivor to not be confused with Hyper Light Drifter or Hyper Light Breaker. Competitive bullet hell with roguelite mechanics and looks way too retro. Warhammer Age of Sigma Realms of Ruin is a kind of, I guess, strategy action RTS. It has 754 reviews with 66% and it's already been labeled as a flop. I saw some gameplay of it, but it didn't look that interesting. It's very repetitive. Watch some gameplay, make your own choice. Fly Out is a flight sandbox simulation. Hey, if you can fly the SR-71, I'm all for it. But what exactly is the point here? Oh, you design your own aircraft. And your own airfoil. I remember that one, that uh, was a prototype scramjet, I think. So I guess you basically make a plane and fly it around. Fry Space is a local multiplayer top-down space arena for up to 4 to 8 players. Very slow, very jittery. Valfaris Mechatherion. Okay, it seems to have some story that I don't understand. Action Shoot'em Up Arcade Shooter. Oh, it's a scrolling shooter. So say it's a scrolling shooter, that's it. Jurassic Park Classic Games Collection, with a lot of capital letters. I remember playing it when I was very young, and I remember the controls being atrocious. I hope they at least fix that, but it still looks kind of boring. Ghosts of Oblivion is a strategy game in which you need to create a deck of cards and defend against waves of opponents using different tactics by combining them. That's a long sentence. Looks like some weird version of tower defense. Semi-idle game. Suica Shapes is another one of those Suica games which is taking the world by storm right now. Except you can choose different shapes instead of the general purpose circle. I don't know, if it's your thing, not really mine. And that's everything that came out recently, so let's check a look at some things that are coming up. Slaughter, the last outpost, is a single player campaign third person shooter. It looks very basic, it has a lot of head bob and recoil and jitteriness and I hate it. Assassin War Sniper Shooting looks like a mobile game with bad UI. Greed is Good looks like a dark and darker ripoff, which I'm guessing is playing on the fact that they can't be sued because they didn't work at that company. But that's about all I can say about it, really. Dead Past 8 is a third-person survival shooter made by a single developer. Do not do that. Do not claim you're a single developer. It doesn't win you any points. Especially if it looks like you have low production values. Regicide X is a 3D hack and slash blah 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 blah. That's a big long sentence that doesn't say anything. Very basic third-person brawler. Very dark. Very bad contrast. Can barely see anything that's happening. And that's all I have for you right now. Join me next time for some more Steam pages that might be good and most often isn't. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun.